Hi everyone, it's me, Luna here, and today I'm going to be showing you just a couple of my Christmas presents, and I'm also going to be telling you what has happened in my life this year. Well, some of the things, but they're mostly to do with fandoms and stuff, and you know, just the random stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Woohoo! Firstly, I've got this watch, but this ain't just any watch. Um, basically, I've got like a watch swap thing, so basically I can change um, these things, the faces, so I can change it to any colour, and the straps as well, so basically I can mix match what colour my watch will be every single day. Woo! Next things I've got is related to Doctor Who, so basically... I got the Doctor Who 8 series box set. Oh my god! Yeah, I've always wanted this when it came out, and it's just. I'm so glad I got it. So I got that. And I also got this as well. Annual 2015. So yeah, got that annual as well. Woo! I also got a calendar for 2015, but I didn't bring it with me since this is my auntie's house and I'm filming it in my auntie's, so it's at home. But you'll probably see it in one of my later 2015 videos or something. Woo! I also got this Soundscape speaker, which is awesome. I absolutely adore it. It's pink and it's just wonderful. You can use it for your phone, Bluetooth, and you can just listen to music with ease. Woo woo! <laughs> Let me show you. Other gifts I got for Christmas include perfume, body odors, and um, um, please don't tell me you forgot what else you got. You should be grateful for what you got, Luna. Oh yeah, I remember. Hold on. I also got a Doctor Who hoodie and the t-shirt of the same thing. So basically I got a t-shirt and a hoodie, so matching. Woo! <laughs> and that's it, I think. Whoop whoop! What a Christmas to remember! Well, there was a couple of fandom things I got for Christmas, but I'm gonna tell you that in a little bit. So now I'm gonna give my own personal reflection of what happened to me this year. Whether it's in fandom-wise or, you know, just a little bit of my personal um, accomplishments and goals. So here we go. The first thing that happened is in fandom-wise. So Sherlock Series 3 came out in January, early January on New Year's Day and holy mackerel it was amazing! So basically it's nearly the first anniversary of when Sherlock Series 3 came out and also the first time I ever shipped John Locke which is John and Sherlock. Yeah, John and Sherlock. I mean it was the second episode of Series 3 that made me ship them completely. I was like, really? Is John marrying the right women? I mean, don't get me wrong, they are cuties, but oh my goodness, I just I, I just couldn't believe it, really. And how Sherlock was sort of pining, and I'm just like, ah, no! <laughs> Remember guys, this is a story about a detective, not just about the mysteries all the time, it's about characters and development and, you know, it's just amazing. I love this show. If you haven't watched the show, you should check it out. It's really good. Really good. The second thing that happened to me in fandom wise was that JK Rowling admitted to wanting Harry and Hermione, like, you know, changing her mind about the whole Harry 
Hermione and Ron thing that was going on. Basically, what she said was that she um, sort of regrets having Ron and Hermione get together. I think it's because that was her first idea, but it was still portrayed very well. I, I do like that. But then she was thinking, oh, maybe Harry and Hermione should have got together. And I was like, thank you! I mean, to be honest with you, Harry and Hermione have this thing where I'm just like, they should have gotten together because in the books they have grown so much together and, you know, with Ron, of course, but I mean, jeez, I, I just love Harry and Hermione so much, they should have gotten together. I mean, Ron and Hermione are awesome, but they argue a lot and I hate those love-hate couples sometimes, it's just... Ugh. But really, mainly they argue because maybe that they love each other and all that jazz and, you know, I don't really care. <laughs> no, I do care, it's just <laughs> Harry and Hermione, man. <sighs> the third thing that happened is me getting obsessed over, like, shows like Doctor Who and um, several other shows like Legend of Korra, Gravity Falls. Mystery Science Free, uh, ugh, Mystery Science Theatre 3000, all those other shows. Like this is the year of me getting into shows that I never got into before. It's crazy, really crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of Doctor Who, it's the year of the eighth series and the wonderful Christmas special that came out. <laughs> it's also the time where I actually got to go to a Q and A with my two favourite. To actress duo Peter Capaldi and Jenna Coleman and the showrunner Stephen Moffat <sighs> oh my goodness it's just wow it's been three months since I went to that and I still got memories running through my head <sighs> the memories sigh sigh and it's where I got these CDs from I got it from the Q&A. <laughs> so basically I got the slideshow of the world tour and oh, gosh, it's amazing. That slideshow gave me so much memories. Oh my goodness. This was also the year I actually went to summer camp. Um, it wasn't the first time I went to summer camp, but this one's sort of different. It's called The Challenge and basically I had to do three different tasks each week. And basically it's to like improve your confidence, improve your um, personality and such. And it was a good, it was a good, um, it was a good um, experience for me. I really liked this summer camp. It was amazing. <sighs> oh my goodness, summer camp was good. But I still keep in touch with the people I met though. It was, it was really cool, it was really cool. And finally, one memorable moment that happened this year was... In the same week, two of my One True Pairings in fiction became a reality. The first one was Kurosami from The Legend of Korra and I'll probably put a link over there to my vlog explaining how much that meant to me. It was a brilliant, brilliant episode that ended with a twist that I didn't see coming. It was amazing to see how far two women got together throughout series 3 and series 4 of the show and how they became more closer than I thought that they were and it's just it's beautiful and the way they held hands they held hands at the end to symbolise that they're more than friends now and it, it just, it's touching it's really touching because love is love people I honestly think that Mm -hmm. Love whoever you wish to love. Don't be put down by any of the, you know, people that don't feel the same way about, you know. Oh man, I'm bad at putting it to words. It's such a sensitive topic for me. But it's really cool to see that in cartoons. The next pairing that became canon was these two. <coughs> yes, you heard me right. The Doctor and Clara are are they're more than a thing now they are truly in love or they are together and they're basically running away to get married now if 
you've seen the ending, you should know what I'm talking about. They sort of like, oh, I'm so happy to be with you. I'm so happy to be with you too. And then they ran off into the TARDIS to get married or something. They probably won't get married. I mean, I, I don't know. But it looked like it. It really looked like they were going to get married. Because throughout the episode... <sighs> Really, throughout the episode, the Doctor and Clara had so many moments, and uh, it was just brilliant, in my opinion. Nothing was beautiful. Oh my goodness. And that was all the memorable moments that happened to me this year in Mostly Fandom. I mean, there was a lot of small things as well, but there was just a few of my personal favourite moments. In this year. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the new year. Yeah, see you in the new year. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna rewatch a certain series and write probably an essay about how these two developed because, ow, it was amazing. It was so amazing. And they're in love. Or best friends still. I don't know, I mean, I think they're in love, but honestly, people think they're best friends, which is fine, they are too. But People still say they're father and daughter, which is kind of stupid, no offence, but, you know, they have an undefying love for each other, and I'm just like, well, why not just say they love each other? That's it. It doesn't have to be romantic, does it? Nope. But I think it's romantic. I don't know why, I just do, because it's just brilliant. It's, Last Christmas was amazing. It was just brilliant. <laughs> See you later.